Hello, this is Ben Dosti, pastor of Harvest Fresno, coming to you with another midweek message. I'm sure all of you are experiencing very heavy hearts right now. Uh, there's a, a deep wound in the soul of our of our country that is um, that has existed for a long time. Uh, but uh, this is a, a time where uh, there needs to be uh, great healing. And it almost seems just so overwhelming. And how do you even begin? Uh, the portion of scripture that uh, we've landed on uh, that for the uh, next coming sermon uh, will be from the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be sons of God. And I really couldn't think of a more uh, timely verse for a time like this. Uh, being a peacemaker. Oh, how the world needs a peacemaker right now. Uh, to be uh, instruments of uh, God's mercy and grace, love and peace into this world, into the culture right now. And the question that I put before you is, uh, how can you be a peacemaker? Uh, to be a peacemaker, um, you have to be a person of understanding. We, we have to understand the time in which we live. Uh, I'd like to show you a clip uh, titled, There's uh, Got to Be a, a Better Way. And I'd like you to uh, review it. It's hard to, to watch, but it's, it's well worth it. So I'd like you to watch it uh, right now. But let me tell you something right here. This 16, he's 16. Oh my God. Kill him, he's 16. What we gonna do? You tell me. What we gonna but do? this ain't the way. Cause they ready to let loose. If the United States president say, if you lose, we shoot. Then you know, see going this going I know it. It's always going on. But it's time to stand up. So at, this point, going at this point, I'm ready to die for what's something. going on. Let me tell you something. That's the problem that we got. What you see right now, it's going to happen 10 years from now. And at 26, you're going to be doing the same thing I'm doing. You understand that? 10 years. You're going to be right here, too. But he also got to So what I need to do right home. now at 16 is come up with a better way. Because how we doing it, it ain't working. He angry at 46. I'm angry at 31. You angry at 16. Mm. 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 It's all You man. understand it's me? It's all Putting all yourself in harm's way is not the way. No, it's not. You... And then other your counterparts, the same Asian that has that same power. Y'all come up with a better way. Because we ain't doing it. Oh, my God. I'd like to ask you, could you enter this situation and be a peacemaker? A true peacemaker. With all the tensions, all the emotions that are flaring, could you truly be a peacemaker? Do you think at this point in time that... Uh, we all know that the gospel is the ultimate answer, but do you think within this context, in this situation, that um, stopping someone and, and telling them the gospel would, would really have any traction? I believe the gospel is the answer, but there's also a way to share the gospel in God's love with understanding, with compassion, with great love. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5, said that uh, the purpose of a man's heart is like deep waters, but a man of understanding draws it out. We have to be men and women of understanding. We have to be men and women who, who understand our times. And when I came upon this, this verse in, in light of all that's been going on, I just felt stuck. I felt like, uh, how, how can we possibly understand what is going on? How can we understand what is going on from, from a, a black perspective? Uh, how, how do we understand uh, the times in which we are, are living, the, the heartache, the pain, the anguish that, that's existing in the, in the hearts of, of so many people? So uh, I, I communicated with John Kelly, who... Uh, uh, is an African-American pastor who came out, many of you remember, uh, to do our men's retreat. And uh, we are going to be hearing a sermon from him uh, this week. And he's going to share 
a black perspective of, uh, of what is going on and just uh, deep wounds that exist and uh, that this is a, a time, a really, it's a, a lamentation. And I, w I really consider this as point one of the sermon on uh, Blessed Are the Peacemakers because point one is really that we have to acknowledge uh, our sin. We have to acknowledge there's uh, when there's injustice, we have to acknowledge offenses. We have to acknowledge there's there's wounds for us to be able to be true biblical peacemakers. So this will, I think, go a long way. Uh, if you're um, African American, I think it's going to be very affirming. If you are white, you need to hear this message. It is uh, it is uh, raw. It's going to be very um, very eye opening uh, for for you. And uh, my uh, heart's desire is that it's going to help uh, all of us uh, understand and have perspective, gain understanding and uh, appreciation and empathy so that we can be better peacemakers. So I look forward to watching message with you uh, 10 a.m. Uh, this coming Sunday at our Harvest Fresno Facebook page. Until then, know that you are loved. Thanks.